compassionate call for change, Julius Malima, the leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, has urged for the renaming of the University of Pretoria to the University of Chwane. His argument centers around the idea that the name University of Pretoria is a relic of a colonial past, one that does not reflect the diverse, multicultural society that South Africa is today. Malima's speech, delivered to a full auditorium, emphasized the importance of decolonizing not just education, but the very symbols and names attached to institutions across the country. He firmly believes that by changing the name of the university to the University of Chwane, it would better align with the African identity and heritage of the community surrounding it. The proposal to rename the University of Pretoria is not an isolated idea but part of the EFF's broader push for educational reform. The party has consistently advocated for the renaming of streets, towns, and institutions across South Africa that still bear the names of colonial and apartheid-era figures. For Malima, the renaming of the university is about more than just a name change. It's about reclaiming African spaces and instilling pride in young people who live and study in the city of Chwane. According to Malima, the current name represents a time that no longer holds relevance in the context of South Africa's future. He views this change as a significant step in building an identity that honors Africa's rich heritage. Throughout his speech, Malima pointed out that decolonizing education extends beyond the curriculum and must include the very institutions where learning takes place. He believes that the renaming of the University of Pretoria would symbolize a broader movement towards recognizing and celebrating African history and culture. According to Malima, a university's name should resonate with the community it serves, and Pretoria's name fails to do that. By renaming the institution after the metropolitan area of Chwane, Malima argues, it would be a step towards acknowledging the area's African identity and moving away from its colonial roots. However, Malima's proposal has sparked a range of reactions from both students and faculty. Some have welcomed the idea, seeing it as a necessary step toward creating a sense of ownership and inclusivity. For them, renaming the university could foster a new sense of pride and identity for students and residents of Chwane. As one student noted, the change would offer an opportunity to build a new narrative around the university, one that reflects the present and future of South Africa, rather than clinging to the past. On the other hand, there are those who oppose the proposed name change, citing concerns over the potential disruption it could cause to the institution's international reputation. The University of Pretoria has built a strong academic reputation over the years, and some fear that changing its name could impact how it is recognized both locally and globally. Critics also point out that a name change is not just about symbolism, but also comes with significant logistical challenges. Changing the name of a university could involve adjustments to branding, academic materials, and communications, all of which require time, money, and effort. Furthermore, some faculty members argue that the name Pretoria is part of the institution's identity and legacy, and that this history should not be so easily discarded. Professor Johann Smit, a long-serving faculty member at the university, expressed his reservations about the proposal. He stated that the name University of Pretoria has been built over more than a century and it has become a recognized brand in the global academic community. According to Smith, altering this name could have unforeseen consequences, both for the university's reputation and for its ability to attract students and faculty from around the world. Despite these concerns, Malima remained firm in his stance, reiterating that the renaming of the university is about more than just tradition, it is about shaping a future that acknowledges South Africa's current values and aspirations. As of now, the University of Pretoria's administration has yet to provide an official response to Malima's call. However, university representatives have made it clear that any decision regarding a name change would involve a thorough consultation process. This process would include input from students, faculty, alumni, 
and other stakeholders, ensuring that a wide range of voices are heard before any decision is made. While it is still too early to predict whether Malima's proposal will be implemented, the conversation around renaming the university has already sparked significant debate. It's important to note that the issue of renaming places, institutions, and monuments is not unique to South Africa. Around the world, many countries are grappling with how to address the legacy of colonialism and historical injustices. In recent years, there has been a growing movement to rename streets, buildings, and public spaces that bear the names of figures associated with oppressive regimes or colonial histories. In South Africa, the debate over renaming places has been particularly intense due to the country's apartheid past. For many, the names of streets, towns, and institutions serve as painful reminders of a time when the majority of South Africans were oppressed and marginalized. Malima's push to rename the University of Pretoria is, therefore, part of a broader movement to reclaim African identity and history in the public space. His call for the renaming of the university resonates with the EFF's vision of a South Africa that fully acknowledges and celebrates its African roots. According to Malima, this is not about erasing history, but about rewriting it in a way that is inclusive and representative of all South Africans. In closing, Malima's speech emphasized the need for South African institutions to align with the country's present-day values and ambitions. He framed the renaming of the University of Pretoria as a necessary step in forming new narratives and reclaiming spaces that were once dominated by colonial powers. It is time for Chwane to have a university that is named after it, he declared. As South Africa continues to grapple with its past while striving to build a more inclusive future, the debate over identity, heritage, and representation will undoubtedly remain at the forefront of national discourse. This proposal has the potential to spark widespread conversations about the role of education in shaping national identity and how institutions can better reflect the communities they serve. Whether the University of Pretoria will be renamed remains uncertain, but what is clear is that the conversation has begun and it will be a topic of discussion for some time to come. As the debate moves forward, we invite you to share your thoughts on the renaming of the University of Pretoria. Do you support Malima's call for change, or do you think the university's current name should remain? How important is it for educational institutions to reflect the communities they serve? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates and discussions on this important issue.